YouTube, what is going on everyone? It's your boy AC back with another video and today we are going over the newly released Jordan 11 Gratitude. We're going to have some detailed look of the shoe and on foot look as well as my resale predictions of the shoe, whether or not you should buy them now, wait for them to go on sale or hold them. We're going to go through all of that in today's video. Now right off the bat, it does come in its own unique box style. An all black lid with a gold jump man, but not just a gold jump man, a bunch of gold details throughout the shoe, like the 23 on the side, then the whole punch out to grab the shoe. It also has a gold accent. And then opening up the box, it does say thank you on the lid in that Jordan 11 font. And I got my pair from Foot Locker, and guys, these things are pricey. 295 Canadian dollars, add tax on top of that. Total thing was $309.75. A crazy expensive pair of Jordans and that retail price is going to come into effect for my resale prediction on this shoe. But yeah, moving into the packaging. The packaging is so nice on this pair. The wrapping paper itself is covered in a bunch of text that says thank you in a bunch of different languages. But then just taking the shoe out itself, it's such a clean colorway. And yeah, a pair of 11s that I'm not mad at. These, in my opinion, are a lot better than the Cherries. The cherries were the first pair of 11s that I didn't pick up in a hot minute. I got the Concords, the breads, the cool grays, skipped on the cherries. And unfortunately, I'm going to be skipping on this pair as well, just because as you can see, the one pair that's dirtier, that is the Concords and practically identical to this pair, just slightly different, like a little bit of gold on this pair. But these things are practically the same. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to be keeping these as a personal. But at the end of the day, the quality on this pair is amazing. And this pair is pretty much a thank you to all the day ones that committed to carrying the Jordan legacy forward. Celebrating a heritage colorway, this classic honors MJ's legacy while elevating the materials for those pushing the culture to new heights. Now the upper is designed with a mix of premium materials like luxe leather along with a smooth knitted collar, the glossy patent leather mudguard just like the originals and a tinted translucent outsole with a weighted gold jump man this pair is honestly one of the most underrated shoes of this year i'm not gonna lie and they look just as great as you expect on foot honestly it's not that much different than wearing a pair of concords and concords are just an amazing pair altogether this pair practically a concord but it just adds a bit of gold onto it i could honestly see in the future these things being worth a good amount of money however like i said these things look amazing on foot a good colorway and a, honestly a colorway you can wear as like a beater shoe now do i recommend having a pair of jordan 11s as a beater i don't but you could if you really wanted to but with that being said and talking about how these could be worth a little bit more money in the future let's go over my resale prediction on this pair and pretty much guys I would just hold off on these all together. The resale price of these, I'm pretty sure for most sizes, if not every single size is under retail. So if that doesn't tell you where the market is for this, then I don't know what does. Now, if you're planning on investing into these, you're gonna have to wait a hot, hot minute, years for these to go up into any kind of price point. But honestly, guys, these things, I wouldn't be surprised if you would find these on like a Nike outlet one day or even or even around like 30% off at like a JD Sports or even like a Foot Locker, I'm not gonna lie. I don't see these things flying off the shelves. And if they do, I bet they made a stupid amount of pairs of these. So they will always be restocking and restocking. And I think this is a shoe that's gonna be sitting on shelves. And once Christmas comes around, and they have all those deals going around. Don't be surprised if you see these on sale with some sort of special going on. So if you truly want your pair and you don't care about the resale price or any of that stuff, then grab your pair. But if you want a pair and you want to wait a little bit, don't be surprised if you can scoop these up for under retail within the next couple months. But yeah, you guys have to let me know in the comments below what do you think of this pair? Honestly, a super underrated pair. Again, if I didn't have the Concords, I probably would get this as a personal, but I just don't need them. If I had all the money in the world, then yeah, I probably would grab these, but you know, I don't need them. I don't got really the money for them. So that's why we're just going to be skipping on this pair. But, but if I do manage to get these for maybe like, honestly, if I can find me a pair, if they go stupid, if they go super down in price and I get them for like $200, then maybe I would grab them, but not for 300 plus. I'm not spending $300 on these pairs. Unfortunately, just 
I'm just not paying that amount of money for a pair of 11s that practically look the exact same to my Concords. But yeah, you guys have to let me know in the comments below. Are you picking these up as a personal amazing colorway? Let me know what you think of them. And yeah, there's really not much else left to say except for thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss any of my future videos. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video.